So for those of you already following supercars, you'll be aware that this magnificent facility and the race team within it was established and has been operated by the Kelly boys, Rick and Todd. And now in 22, after a transition period in 21, this facility and the race team within it is now owned and operated by Stephen Grove and his son, Brenton. And they've partnered with Penrite to form what is now called Penrite Racing. So the Grove boys already have racing in their blood, so they know the landscape. But are they ready for the next step up, the main game? Trust me, this is a tough gig on the world scale. In fact, I'd argue like many that this is amongst, if not, the toughest touring car championship in the world. You know, I've watched this many times over the years. New owners, new ambition, new plans, restructuring, Roland Dane, Betty Clemenko, Roger Penske all spring to mind. So for nearly three decades around supercars, I've been able to see up really close and personal why teams succeed and in fact why they fail. And for me, it always comes down to three pretty simple common denominators. Resources, people and leadership. So let's hear from some of the key players. See if we can feel the changes, feel the vibe, and see if those key attributes are yet in play. You've got to have experience, but you've got to have culture. So we'll bring people into our business that suits our culture. The winning mentality, for us it's about winning. And we're not saying we're going to win tomorrow, we're saying we're going to build and build and build and build a winning culture, and that's all we can ask for, and the wins will come. Yeah, obviously the culture has changed in the last 12 months I've been here, but you know, transitioning into this year, I think it's been for the better because you know everyone's secure in their job. We know the we know the Groves are going to be here long term. They want to win races. Synergy with the Groves has been um, spectacular, and and I really love their vision and passion. You know, we're starting fresh with the new ownership, like we've spoken about. It feels like it's a, it's a, it's a fresh start. It's from the ground up. A very different vibe to the place. Culture's everything in the team. You know, the, the cars are fast, but the people make them fast. That's all I like to say. People make the cars fast. What it ultimately comes down to is the people, and in here we've got great people, and people that want to get to the top. The resources are there. It's now about putting the processes in place to win and not just compete. But I need to give them good infrastructure, good place to work, good environment to work, and that's something that we work really hard at. So it's not just about throwing money at it, it's certainly not that. The goal, what, what are we here to achieve? We, we're here to win championships. We want, we want to win a driver's championship, we want to win a team's championship, and we want to win Bathurst. We want to hit the ground running with Gen 3 and be competitive straight away. Yeah, I mean, this year we wanted to be top five, five or six, and we have five, and we're probably really trying to push for four, to be honest, trying to be a little bit greedy. Uh, next year we'd want to be top two, but we've got a lot of learning to do, and it's a new car, so it's a bit more of a level playing field and then we hope to be mixing it for the championship the year after. There's a mountain to climb and in, in sport or um, you know in life in, in but you know in motorsport there's no there's no shortcuts. I think that the Groves have a genuine belief that they can take this team into a winning championship team. I strongly do believe that we will get there. Now Rome wasn't built in a day and I can assure you there is no silver bullet in this game but it would be remiss of me not to have a bit of a snapshot of the results so far. Davey Reynolds, six podiums so far this year and seventh in the championship. Last year, he only had one podium and was 18th in the championship. So as a team, already in 2022, 12 top five finishes, fifth in the team's championship. Last year, they were eighth in the team's championship. And the Groves, well, clearly they're well resourced and I get a sense that they are genuinely committed. What I like, Steve, who's had his own business success through his own making, seems to be prepared to, whilst he owns the team, to use the players, the key players that are here and that he's drafted in, to let them run the operation, because they're the experts rather than meddle in it, which is always a temptation, and well done for that. I'm genuinely excited about this re-emergence of Davey Reynolds. I keep saying he's got his mojo back. He's such a great character, a gifted driver, and the sport needs him. And then of course, sitting in the background in preparation for 2023 is young Matt Payne. 
Now, Matt smoked them in the New Zealand TRS series last year. That's a tough little open wheeler series where drivers come from all around the world. So, he's now just been prepared in the Super 2 series and already has won a race, three podium finishes and third in the championship. He is an exciting young prospect. Gen 3, that might be really good timing for a young kid coming into the sport. And that introduction and the early development of Gen 3 in 2023 will put the entire pit lane to the test and no more than this team with big ambition. You know, from day one I said Gen 3, I think it's going to be good for our sport and I think this sport has got a real opportunity to go places and I want to be a part of that and, and I really think, look out, see where we are in five years time. So it's early days but I've got to say, I actually really like what I'm seeing here. There was already some great people within this organisation and I think that important recruitment of David Couchy from Triple Eight has really started to bring a winning culture to this team. So I'm gonna say, so far, so good. And I'm gonna watch with particular interest over the next couple of seasons as this team starts to build and affect its plan and starts to put a stake in the ground that defines its capability, not just its ambition.